I am the Supreme Voice, and this message is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Good evening, Cancerians. How you guys doing? I have literally never read for the sign of Cancer, but I was led by spirit to read for you. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I channel messages, then I follow up with the tarot to confirm the messages. Sometimes you're going to find that the messages resonate with you. Sometimes you're going to find the tarot resonates with you. Sometimes you're going to find both. Either way it goes, leave me messages in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right. So, um, Cancerians, Power Tribe. Um, and by the way, I say North Node because um, your North Node, when I say it could be Cancer and Sun, Moon, Rising, or North, North Node. Mercury trying to mess with me right now, but I'm going to get this. Virtual Grey trying to mess with me, but I'm going to get this message out, okay? So um, I say North Node because when you're living in your North Node, you're activating your life's purpose, okay? You are recognizing cycles that you have had over and over again, and you're making conscious changes to those particular cycles, okay? So I do have channeled messages inside my phone. So if you ever see me looking down, it's because I have the messages inside my phone. But right as I was preparing to get into your energy, um, I was hearing like a lot of changes, like some sort of changes to where like you are trying something new or you're attracting new people around you, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on some energies of lots of epiphanies, lots of downloads, lots of things that normally did not come to you are starting to come to you. Also, am a grandmother who um, had some sort of style to herself. This particular grandmother could be deceased at this moment, my condolences. Or this grandmother could be living. But some sort of stylish ways that she had about herself that you really, really remember. I'm picking up on either a dress or um, something she was obsessed with. It could have been jewelry or it could have been nails. There's something about this grandmother that was like, she had this little young streak about herself. Or she has a young streak about herself. It could even be in lingo, the way she speaks, okay? Anyway, so yeah, those are the two things that just came to me. So I'm going to go ahead and reach into my phone. And what I do is I will read you words and I'll explain to you what energies are around these particular words with the Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and North Node Collective, okay? Beauty and youth, middle, enjoyment, past, career change. Okay, so we're going to start off with beauty and youth. Okay, somebody in your past is like in awe about your beauty. Somebody, it, either you you dated them way long time ago, it's a past relationship, why is my scalp itching all of a sudden? And um, they've seen some sort of recent photos of you or they haven't seen you in a while and they're just looking at you and there's something very distinct about your beauty. There's also something distinct about someone like aging very, very well, as well as um, close relatives. Like someone is does not resemble their relatives at all. There's something distinctive about eye color that you may get from an ancestor. So it's like everyone's looking around like where did this person get their eye color from? Um... And someone's also wondering where in the world or why in the world do you have this gift of beauty, okay? Um, also, something is significant about children. If you have children, your children look good too. It's almost as if you duplicated your children. I'm picking up on children who have like really pretty hair. When I say pretty hair, it's something like not the texture. It's more like they compliment you like you mirror the children and you are mirroring each other in some sort of way okay and like maybe even some slanted eyes i don't know why i picked up on that energy as well there's also something about your fitness either you're picking up some sort of fitness plan 
trying to lose weight or you have lo lost weight. Like there's something significant, my nose is itching, um, about how you looked then and how you look now or the fact that you still look really, really youthful, okay? Um, let's see, middle, okay? Somebody enjoyed, like, hold on. Okay, there we go. That enjoyment is the next word. Someone purposely put you in the middle as competition, okay? Somebody purposely had you in a situation that you were unaware of, but you're either slowly starting to see this or be way more aware of how desperate somebody was to put you in the middle of something, like almost as if you were used as a bait and you kind of didn't even realize you were used as a bait. And um, someone's also did something as far as like sharing a photo of you on purpose just to piss somebody off or, excuse me, sorry about that, confirmation burp possibly. Someone basically has like put you in some sort of, something significant about a photo. And someone's showing a photo of you to somebody, which takes me into the next one of enjoyment. If you were ever like, um, and before I say enjoyment, if you were ever in a relationship with somebody and they told you a whole bunch about how good you looked and things like this, that is possibly that person. So enjoyment. Somebody in the Cancer Sun Moon Rising North Node Collective has some sort of enjoyment dealing with either like um, volunteering, humanitarianism, something dealing with animals. Like animals kind of like gravitate towards you. Um, you're good with animals. Maybe you don't have any children, but you have an animal. But there's something significant about being connected to animals and just wanting to like be really sweet to your pet. Or even if you don't have a pet, if you see another pet, pets kind of kind of gravitate towards you. Cats usually scatter from people, but they'll come near you, okay? Birds usually get really nervous around humans, but maybe you've had some sort of encounter with an animal where an animal should have been scared of you, but they weren't. And then we have um, past lover someone actually enjoyed having you as a third party you could have known about this or you could have not known about this or this is your energy we're going to go ahead and flip flop the roles where there's been someone that's been in secret but they really really like they had someone who they were maybe living with but you were a secret or you didn't know you were a secret but someone really enjoyed having you in a third party situation because of your looks and um there's something significant about like um, whoever their other significant other was. There was some sort of like drastic difference. It could have been difference in hair, difference in body type, difference in um, someone tanned way more and someone didn't tan a lot. Or someone was lighter skinned and someone was darker skinned. Or someone was thick and someone was thin. And then career change. Like there's something about a career change that's kind of worrying because it's like... Uh, if you change the career here, there's going to be a lesser amount of money that you'll receive. But there's also something in the energy of your career change in regards to you needing to do an upgrade in whatever business endeavors you have going on right now. So let's go ahead and get into the tarot. First card coming out is the tower. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. And I really, what you're going to learn about me is I normally don't call signs out. I'm more so energy based, but you could be dealing with the Scorpio. We've got the um, Hermit card coming out next. Cancer. The World card in reverse. Cancer Sun. We've got the Three of Swords coming out here. Cancer Sun. Moon. Three of Wands in reverse. Cancer Sun. The Empress card. Cancer, sun, moon, rising. The star card. Let's go ahead and take one more, please. Cancer, sun, moon. And we've got the knight of pentacles. So you went through some sort of drastic change, a real big upheaval, and 
you are in disbelief and so is somebody else in disbelief that you even made it out of this particular situation. But when you left out of this situation, you left out of it kind of like either you didn't have a lot of money, you were waiting for some sort of money to come in, but there's some sort of really big upheaval that occurred. I'm picking up on some sort of relationship where it was agonizing. Someone played the hell out of you. And you you kind of like, you went into this very like quiet mode with the hermit card coming out here second. And you felt like you would never be the same after this particular heartbreak. And especially since it has something to do with money. It definitely has something to do with like you giving to somebody else, but somebody else was given to somebody else. However, that particular situation transformed you. You've got some Empress energy here. Wow, wow, wow. With the star card coming out, it transformed you. And I mentioned something about somebody not being able to recognize somebody. Okay, we do have the Knight of Pentacles coming out here next, which is probably following up with the fact that you like really, really were heartbroken because there was some sort of upheaval in finances that really like put you, I'm um, picking up on an energy where you were used to looking a certain way, traveling or enjoying life. But this particular situation really knocked you down a couple of notches to where you had to rebuild money back up. With the Knight of Pentacles coming out in reverse is a possibility that it puts you in a situation where money came slow. Money came really slow, okay? All right, somebody became unemployed because of this particular, or they, or owed money or it could have even caused you to be very depressed. There's something significant about a change in your finances because of this particular heartache. This could have been a marriage or a relationship gone very bad. Something significant about like giving out and taking care of somebody, but this other person was giving to somebody else. It's like, you were feeling this person, but this person was feeling somebody else. And like, whoever this person is, if they haven't, they've come back to you in some sort of way, explaining something that they've gone through or um, just picking up on some sort of energy of going through this, but then someone getting back with somebody. That's for some of you. We've got the Queen of Pentacles out here someone's got their stuff back together someone's sitting on their throne looking really good to their ex cancer mm, looking really good to their ex while their ex is drowning whoever this person was like you were being very sincere i'm picking up on an energy where you really was helping this particular person through a hardship. You can flip-flop the rolls. Got some cross-watching energy in here as well. Page of Cups. Okay, before I say that, why is the Page of Cups out here? Okay, this could also be a situation where you shared a child with this particular person. Someone could also have shared a pet as well. But, um... Trying your best to make sure that the child was taken care of if you're a feminine. Trying to make sure that the duties were equal if you're a masculine. Trying to pay money to make sure someone could have went through court. Went through a hardship in regards to money. But I also have the four of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Which is an indication that somebody could, was probably asking or requesting more money than what they actually needed. Somebody was looking at you like you were a money bank. And then we've got the nine of cups out here. And then what fell down here is the judgment card. And it's in reverse. <clears throat> Somebody was taking and using your money for leisures. 
somebody was taking and using your money like to party to buy clothes get their nails done um somebody was like misappropriating the funds that you were giving to them and whenever they were misappropriating these funds they were having fun with another person like entertaining another person almost making themselves seem like they were some sort of baller all on all at your expense cancer sun okay why did this i've got the nine of wands yeah you went through this alone i mentioned that in the beginning of the reading that there's something significant about i almost feel like whatever this situation was you almost like lost confidence in yourself because of it we're at 15 minutes i'm gonna do two okay yeah do that three of cups out here why is this three of cups out here why is the three of cups out here for the cancer sun five of cups three of cups to five of cups Let me get one more card on that before because I've got the Five of Pentacles out here at the bottom of the deck. And we've got the Knight of Wands. Okay, so whoever this person was that, that you were dealing with, you met this person like partying. You and this person could have had like this in common where you guys got together. It could have even been smoking. You know what I'm saying? Like casual type of addictions but the two of you shared these two things together okay so i'm picking up like you guys celebrated had drinks together but i'm also picking up that all right i'm gonna spit this out whoever you were in this relationship with you did not even enjoy intimacy with this person okay like there's something relevant about you not, my nose is itching bad, um, you not really enjoying some sort of intimacy. Either you had to get drunk in order to sleep with this person or this person felt like they had to get drunk to sleep with you. Cancer, sun, recovery. Okay, so there's also been some sort of situation where with when you left this situation, you had to stop drinking or you you had to clear your mind because there's that nine of swords coming out in reverse or either you're rethinking the people who you sleep with and how you give yourself out. And this could be masculine or feminine energy. Magician in reverse. Why is the magician, look at this at the bottom of the deck, devil card, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Um... I also was channeling some energy like while I was meditating on the Cancer Sun Moon Rising North Node that like there is somebody who is like either this is past, present or future energy that is sensitive and sweet to you that will be or was. This person though has some sort of difference in politics or religion there's some sort of difference it's a good combination but there's politics or religion that is involved with this and this could have been this particular person right here why is the magician card out here because there's a betrayal that happened yeah if somebody was like looking at you with some sort of party money bank there was some sort of and it and now that i really look at the way that this particular reading is going there's some sort of mix match in your emotions and you being able to sleep with this particular person. Like something was off. Okay, but blessings. Let's take one more card. We've got several choices at the bottom of the deck. Let's take one more card. Wow, the queen of pentacles. Yeah, somebody leveled up after this particular situation occurred. And then right behind it is the emperor. Somebody became really wise after this particular situation happened. So we're going to go ahead and do something called messages in a bottle. And this is basically, sorry, I had to get that little quick drink in. This is basically just messages that can follow up and give more clarification and confirmation as to exactly what's been going on in your energy, okay? 
Let's just go into the Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Cancer. Okay, this card, this, excuse me, this message here flipped up. You guys can't see how I got my camera propped up, but this card flipped up and it says betrayal. Something happened. All the rest of the cards stayed down, but that one just flipped over. Something happened that is just like, I'm getting this sense of sour milk. Sour milk makes somebody sick. Cancer, sun, moon. When you see this person, whoever this person is, you're disgusted by them. Rising, north node, energy of cancer. Oh, wow. I'm going to take that one. That message that just jumped up there too, but wow. She got dogged the fuck out. Also consider that this can be flip-flop the gender. So he could have gotten dogged out. This could be your energy where you got dogged out, the betrayal. But mostly the energy I'm picking up on this is that I said something about somebody coming back to someone. I'm picking up on some energy where after all this stuff occurred, somebody came back to somebody. But you're, you were disgusted. There's something about something making your stomach turn. Also, the number one flipped over where, this, where the betrayal message was, which means that somebody did have to start all over. Someone had to, okay, why did that card? I'm not going to take it. There was one, another message that flipped up there, but I didn't take it. But um, someone is also putting themselves first now, which is how come someone is very wise and they're sitting in the energy of Queen of Pentacles. And that queen can be a king or a queen. Doesn't matter, male, female. Let's go ahead and get one more message. Path to healing. I said someone's recovering. Someone's recovering from some sort of partying, addictions, as well as some sort of heartache. Or someone has. This could be past, present, or future. in an energy. I almost said past, present, or future enemy. That somebody, you're not feeling somebody. Somebody is, you're not cool with somebody. No more. Let's get another message from the bottle. One more message, please. One more message. Overactive sacral chakra. Some sort of very sexual, highly sexual attraction. Like, but there was still some sort of discomfort. And remember I said flip flop the roles. This person could have felt this way about you because they weren't really into you or you could have felt this way about them. But just something you know now. You're wise enough to be able to detect these kinds of things now. Okay, so that's what matters. We're going to take one card from the Latin tarot deck and then we're going to end this particular reading, okay? Cancer, sun. Okay, two cards came out. The first one that came out is the... This is the page of swords. And then the other one is the queen of swords. I'm going to tell you right now, someone looked at you as nothing. Like someone looked at you as somebody that they can definitely like play on your intelligence, okay? By the way, whoever you were dealing with was very verbally abusive. There's a possibility that you're pretty quick with the tongue, but this person here was like, I have to get close to the light to be able to read the words on here, yeah. You as a person came off very kind of like young. You also came off kind of like um, new, fresh. Um, somebody's going to travel soon too. Just getting kind of like picking up on some downloads and things that are like going through my mind as I'm thinking about your characteristics. Um I'm also getting this feeling where there's a possibility that like you had lots of ideas that you used to say to this particular person and they used to downplay it. 
but they probably wouldn't say it to you, to your face, but in their mind. We've got two swords here, and one's in the upright and one's in the um, the reverse, which means that you could have also been dealing with an air sign or a water sign. But yeah, this particular person was, re was something else. Like this person was very two-faced. They were not, and I said something about the enemy and what's crazy <laughs> is one of the words here in Spanish is enemy a traitor. So Cancer, thanks for allowing me to read for you. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. And if any of these messages resonated with you, let me know in the um, comments. I try my best to um, reply to the comments, but I'm pretty, pr pretty busy during the day. Okay. So I am the Supreme Voice and thanks so much for being with me. Bye.